Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this bottled water ring top thing um, to make a painting. And yes, I will then wash it off and pop it in the recycling bin because it is a number two. Don't worry, it will go where it needs to go with its thingies cut so no turtles end up being strangled anyway what am i doing well most of you know that when i come in to paint i ask what would like to be painted on or with and that gives me a surface to paint on and any instruments that i want to get and it's just about awareness you know sometimes my eyes look in a general direction which means i see something um Sometimes I get a picture in my head of what it is. Uh, lots of different ways. However you perceive is how you perceive. Please don't. Um, yeah, anyway. So, as you can see, this has got these funky um, holes. And so what I'm going to do, kind of like a reverse um, what are those things called? Kitchen strainery plug. I bought my kitchen strainer from a, from the home reno store Bunnings for five dollars. I have seen some an entrepreneuring being has caught on to the whole concept of acrylic pourers using strainers and done this really cool bundle. And I'll if I remember, I will link it in the description below on Amazon. And that bundle contains um, three or four different style strainers. As well as other, other things that are useful for acrylic pouring, but... I think they're pretty cool. Whoever they were to come up with that idea and market it. Now this may take a while, but basically all I'm going to do is take the grass green, the yellow okra, and maybe some white and maybe some black, and just keep running around the outside And you can see it's starting to drip. I've got some cool drips happening down here. And it drips a lot faster if you um, pour faster. But I'm not choosing that. I'm just cruising. There's a lot of extra holes in this that I don't want to use. I want them to all go down those corrugations. So from this point, I'm going to speed it up for you.
Now what I'm thinking I probably should have done is done a base coat of the green because the green is what I've got the most of. But what I didn't want was I didn't want a base coat pushing into the middle and having little islands of a base colour. So now that we're getting to the point where the rings are almost touching in the middle, I'm going to Just take these in. You know what this is actually reminding me of? Do you remember that wallet I did a while ago with all the individual ring paws? That looked like roses and another one in a painting I did the same way looked like mud pools, bubbling mud. running the green down the sides as well just while we're at this point I may as well make sure those sides are coated so that when we start tilting they will have some paint there for the paint to run down Make sure that the green comes up and touches all the way around. Yep, just like that. And I'm going to do a little bit more um, a little bit more dribbling before I start spreading. I'm going to use up all of this yellow okra I'm not sure I have enough for another ring of white dots but probably do so we'll give that a go as well Whoopsie, that went through the hole. Do you ever get to that point where you're like, oh, nearly finished, I should hurry up and I'll be able to finish this soon. And you do something stupid that... Block off your awareness. You stop being clear about what you're choosing. Well, that's the end of that one and I'm just gonna do a quick dribble of green around all of it now the only place that doesn't have paint is now 
where the cap that's holding up the rings is sitting. So just hoping I've got enough paint pressure for that to fill in. Right, let's take this off. And yes, back pressure. And then let's, that's actually really cool. I really like it. Let's still get rid of that little drop there. That's cool. I like, I like, I like. And we're going to stretch that way first and bring it back to the center. And just let the whole thing just keep flowing that way. Somebody out there is going, you should have just left it how it was. It was great. And bring it back. And take it out. Didn't want it to go over the edge, but it did. Oh, well. That one over the edge as well. Put some of this runoff green along here to fill in the gaps. Make sure we've got a nice coverage, not just a smeary mess. There we go. How cool is that? Actually, I'm going to put a big lump of paint here and run that off. <laughs> that is a totally another way of doing lots of ring pours <laughs> i suppose it was lots of ring pours i was going around and around and around, and around in circles in four places all at the same time and i have a little one over here which i think i might capture on a cabochon Zoom you in. I can zoom with my paint covered fingers. Alright. I'm supposed to be in a meeting. Ugh. There we go. Funky droplet. Come on, focus. There you go. I like that. And I like this. And I'm going to leave it to dry now. Go to my meeting. And I'll be back as soon as it's dry. So that I can show you this cool ass painting. I love it. Alright guys. 
See you in three, two, one. Well, here she is. I don't know what's going on with the weather at the moment, but uh, I had to turn the heater on to get this to dry and I'm still late getting this up. So sorry about the delay. Um, and I, well worth the, the wait, honestly. Look at it, it's so pretty. So weird and wonderful and wacky and got such interesting things in it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like this one to be a downloadable um, print. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. How does it get any better? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's got some texture in it. Let's see if I can get the texture to show. Maybe not. Uh, but I like it. I'm really pleased with it and really happy with the, the play with that lovely blue ring thing. Um, you can still sort of see the, the groupings. I do like it. So let's have a look at the cabochon. It came out really well. Oh look, a helicopter. How noisy is that going to be? <laughs> Hello, helicopter! From that angle, it looks like a screaming alien. <laughs> but, from that angle... There we go. It looks like kiwi head and beak. What do you reckon? I think it does anyway. Kiwis are brown though. Oh well. Well, I had fun with this. It took a bit longer than I expected. So as you saw, um, I have sped it up. And I look forward to playing with the next one. Uh, might be a bit late this time. I'm off to spend the day with my mother and sister for my birthday and then out for dinner. So might get a video done today. Otherwise it'll be a bit late. But oh well. If I miss the Friday one, it'll be up on Sunday. And I adore you all. How much fun can you all have? Um, pop, a link, pop a comment in the description if you can think of a colour combination or a pore style you'd like me to do. Um, I would love to take your suggestions, see what else is possible. Alright guys, have fun, I'll see you soon, bye bye.